Clinics and other healthcare establishments should take it upon themselves to be responsible for the safety of the radiology equipment by acquiring the necessary licenses for their use. What's up guys? This is Kim from Care for Life, a medical equipment distributor based in Metro Manila. To use a radiography equipment, your facility would need the Philippine Food and Drug Administration's license to operate a medical x-ray facility. On top of that, you also need to monitor your equipment's emitted radiation by subscribing to a personal dose monitoring service like the OSL dosimetry service offered by TUV Rhineland. In this video, we will teach you on how to comply with X-ray medical facility regulations online. Due to the pandemic, both the FDA and TUV Rhineland have streamlined their processes so we can send applications online. Ahead, we detail all the requirements and steps in subscribing to an OSL dosimetry service and in getting a license to operate for your establishment. In our country, radiography facilities must first subscribe to radiation monitoring services like TUV Rhineland's OSL dosimetry service. Only after securing this would they be able to apply for the FDA Philippines license to operate a medical x-ray facility. Authorized by FDA as a designated provider of radiation protection services, TUV Rhinelands provides dosimetry services using optically stimulated luminescence or OSL technology to measure the radiation exposures of your workers. Here are the steps on how to apply for TUV Rhineland's OSL Dosimetry Service. Step 1. Accomplish the necessary forms. Download the TUV Rhineland Philippines OSL application form. Enter the details about your facility and the radiation emitting equipment you want tested. When done, submit the accomplished form to OSL Service at TUV.com Step 2. Review the service quotation Upon receipt, TUV Rhineland will send a quote containing the complete breakdown of fees reflecting the number of decimeter badges needed to measure the equipment. Step 3. Pay online Settle the quoted OSL dosimetry applications through Banco de Oro or BDO. Once you submit a copy of your proof of payment, they'll send your official receipt. Your badges will be delivered 15 working days after. Step 4. Process Dose Reports When you subscribe to this OSL dosimetry service, they will be offering in-light whole-body dosimeters that will respond to photon and beta radiations. After one to two months of use, OSL dosimeters are returned to their laboratories for proper measurement of radiation doses. They will then send you electronic copies of your radiation dose reports. So here are the requirements for the application. FDA X-ray application form for medical facilities. X-ray equipment and facility self-assessment checklist. Relevant photos of your radiography equipment and facility. See the corresponding self-assessment checklist for details. Licensing application fee and proof of payment copy. Copy of the official receipt or certificate of subscription to a personal dose monitor service. Copies of licenses of all radiologists and radiologic or x-ray technologists from the Professional Regulation Commission. Radiologists Certificate of Fellowship from the Philippine College of Radiology or Diplomate of the Philippine Board of Radiology. PRC Board Certificate of all the radiologic or x-ray technologists. 
a copy of the Certificate of Training given to the Acting Radiation Protection Officer as proof of completion of the RPO training provided by FDA or DOH. Certificate of Training of the Head of the Facility in Radiology if he is not a FPCR or DPBR for government facilities and in areas with no FPCR or DPBR within 45 kilometers of vicinity radius. Copy of notarized contract of employment of all the radiologists and technologists. Copy of the performance test report from FDA-CSL or DTI-PAB accredited testing body. Copy of business or mayor's permit or SEC or DTI registration of the facility. Valid OR or CR of vehicle LTO registration for transportable X-ray facilities only. Here are the steps to process your license to operate. Step 1. Create an RRD portal account. In place of accepting walk-in transactions, the FDA has now developed an online RRD portal to ensure safe authorization. Note that the FDA only grants access to either the owner or the authorized person of the facility. To create an account, fill out the corresponding details in their online sign-up form and upload an accomplished letter of intent or authorization letter. Step 2. Process the licensing fees. Consult the schedule of fees as listed on the application form for a license to operate a medical x-ray facility. You can settle them through any branch of the land bank of the Philippines. To limit your transactions online, applicants can also pay through the land bank link.bs portal. This e-payments system can be accessed by land bank account holders, holders of ATM cards from other banknet member banks, international debit, credit, or prepaid card holders, and GCash users. Step 3. Submit all the requirements. Log into your RRD portal and follow the instructions for your license to operate application. Compile the necessary documents as listed and compile them in a labeled PDF file free of bugs and viruses. Step 4. Wait for assessment. Depending on the radiography machine and facility type you're obtaining a license for, you can either simply submit a self-assessment or be subject to a virtual pre-licensing inspection. Check the FDA circular number 2020-05 on licensing inspection for more details. Regardless of the application type, all is subject for post-licensing inspection after the quarantine measures have been lifted for verification. Once you gain the FDA Philippines license to operate a medical x-ray facility, your establishment must continuously comply with the regulations and reassessments. Ensuring the safety of your x-ray facility is a must. We need to adhere to all the mandatory procedures and protocols so we can prevent unnecessary errors and accidents. This will also reflect to the quality of care and service that we provide to our patients and gives protection to your business. That's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot from this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. Again, this is Kim. See you guys soon.